This is Tim from HeliRC here, uh, making another quick video about why you should not be using PIDs to tune feel. First, you need to understand what exactly PIDs are doing. And this is an example of the set point rate and gyro. When you look at these overlaid, the set point is essentially what your stick is, what your stick inputs is telling your quad to do. And the gyro is what it's actually doing. Now, when you look at what PIDs are doing, PIDs are trying to make up the difference between what your stick is telling the quad to do and what it is actually doing. So when you're increasing P, what you're doing is you're trying to bring the gyro closer to what the set point is doing if it's under shooting. Here's an example of that. Here, I told the quad to roll right at a specific rate, 32 degrees per second, up here. And it was just a little bit, and I have, I have pretty decent expo on my, on my stick inputs, but it only hit at most about five degrees a second. This is indicative of low P values. It didn't respond fast enough and it didn't respond enough at all. This is, I told it to move and it just didn't move. It moved a little bit, but not, not nearly as much as it should have. So P makes up the difference between requested rate and actual rate. When you look at something with too much P, what it's actually doing is it's overshooting. Now, this looks like it's coming down and it's undershooting. This is actually a positive and negative situation. So you're, you're actually overshooting the rate of roll in the other direction. And then it's coming back up and it's overshooting just a smidge here because it's just, just a little bit. But then as the stick inputs change, P is still overshooting and it's a little bit of oscillations here. And this is because P is too high. When you adjust your feel or the snappiness or the responsiveness of a quad by changing the P gains, what you're telling the quad to do is move faster than it's requested. So instead of changing your PIDs to adjust feel, you should be changing your rates. Your rates will determine the responsiveness as well. You do, you probably will need to adjust P values in order to match what's actually requested of it. But making it overshoot like that, adjusting P so that it just moves faster, will actually cause other problems because then D will try to take over if it responds fast enough. D will try to take over and it'll say, hey, why are you above it? And it tries to pull it down, which is what causes this little oscillation. Now this isn't perfect either, but what it should look like is something more similar to this, where your set point goes up, or in this case, down, and your gyro follows along with it, because that means that the quad is actually responding to inputs appropriately. And the closer you can make this, the better tuned your quad is. Forcing it to overshoot like this only causes other oscillation problems and other other issues like bounce back because then it's going to overshoot and overshoot and overshoot and constantly oscillate back and forth. If you want your quad to feel snappier, you need to adjust your rates. Here's an example of what happens when P values are too high. What happened here, uh, someone was trying to pitch forward and you get this little dip on roll right here. You'll see he's yawing as he's rotating back. This is indicative of thumbing. And I'm a thumber, and a lot of people are. But what happens is you end up with stick inputs moving in unanticipated ways. Here is yawing at a rate of whatever, 57. Not insignificant. Same thing with roll. His thumbs are actually going inward as he's pulling the sticks down. This creates a situation where the quad is trying to yaw, and the only way that it can yaw is by changing motor outputs that are cross one and four, or two and three. So when that happens, then you end up with unexpected gyro motion, it tries to overcorrect as you're doing more complicated maneuvers, or as in this particular instance, you have someone who's thumbing and their stick inputs go inside, in towards the middle. Pit values are there to adjust, 
what the quad actually does versus what you're requesting it to do. And if you're making it do more than what it's requested to do, then you end up with weird sort of bobbles and pitches and other things like that. So again, if you want to manipulate the feel of the quad, you should not be changing PID values. You should be changing rates. And then PIDs correct the quad's behavior relative to what's requested. 